Hey, good morning, guys and gals. Tim Nick here with uh, Creative Polymer Solutions. We manufacture AccuFoam and rugged roof coatings. Just going to throw you some tidbits this morning, uh, talk about some of the stuff that I look at uh, when I'm asked to step out on a roof, uh, do an inspection, and uh, kind of an overview of what's been done on the roof. Uh, I think of it as a forensic study, um, not so much of what I see on the roof, because you can, uh, as they say, put lipstick on a pig. Um, so that's not the stuff I'm looking for. We need to find out what's happened to this job, uh, what's what it's been exposed to throughout the years, uh, what type of environment that it's in, maybe who applied the job, what years the product was put down. We had guys buying rigs and uh, spraying foam over things they shouldn't have been spraying foam over. And uh, my job when I come out there uh, as an inspector for uh, Creative Polymer is to make sure and, uh, and double check that you don't get yourself in trouble uh, by further exasperating or adding to the problem that may already be uh, existing on that roof. So uh, with that said, we can dive into a couple things here, maybe some things that I look for specifically uh, when we come out to a job and maybe some uh, specifications that I may write for you, uh, custom specifications designed for that job uh, that would help you uh, uh, continue to do a successful um, repair or a complete re-roof uh, on that system. So guys, with that said, uh, I'm just going to give you a couple examples, some jobs that uh, I've looked at recently in the past couple of years. Uh, one of them up in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, I got a call from a contractor up there trying to get a job and uh, wasn't really exactly sure what to do with it. So I flew up there, spent the afternoon with him. Uh, the uh, competing contractor wanted to put an additional inch of foam on it and recoat the roof. Uh, but he was skeptical, saying that the roof felt like it was wet, uh, multiple blisters on it and things that he just physically saw when he first initially looked at it and asked me to come up and take a look at the job. Um, so we get up on that, that roof a beautiful morning um, up in Jackson, Tennessee, and we proceed to do a core sample. It's not what you see physically on the top. It's what's happened underneath it. So as we progressed into the roof, um, you know, the first layer of foam looked good, wasn't too bad, had some blisters, a little weathering uh, really needed to be recoded. But as we got further down in that roof, you'll see uh, there were five roofing systems on there all the way down to the deck. And uh, that is just not a likely candidate that Creative Polymer Solutions, uh, AccuFoam Rugged Coatings would like to subject uh, our contractors to trying to fix. So. Um, our recommendation, the contractor and myself met with the, uh, the building owner, spoke with him. He was in his mid uh, 80s, maybe early 90s. Very nice gentleman, very successful in the town. We explained to him what his situation was, and um, he opted actually to, uh, to recoat the roof, uh, citing that uh, he would leave the building to his kids for them to handle the repairs in the future. Um, but that's just one of those things that, you know, you can't win them all. You go out there, you do the best, you tell the customer the truth. You don't want to be doing a job um, to satisfy somebody's checkbook. You want to do a job the correct way, because when something goes wrong, you're going to be the one they're coming back on. Uh, they're going to say, well, you didn't tell me or you shouldn't have done that. Um, so my advice, my tidbit to the contractors as I work with them in the field is, listen, let's do this job right, you know, so we're not coming back on it. It's good for the company. It's good for your company. It's good for our company. Uh, if you ask us for a warranty, we're going to be much more specific about it. Um, you know, we're going to absolutely make sure that you do it right, because as an authorized applicator for rugged coatings and AccuFoam, um, you are basically not only putting the roof on for the building owner, you're putting the roof on for our company. So as a team, we want to make sure that, you know, you're doing your job right. We're providing the right uh, products and the right services and the right inspection. And uh, we just want to make sure that we put a roof on there with longevity uh, that you don't have to go back on because, you know, and I know going back on a job uh, is expensive, uh, costs you money, manpower, time. Uh, again, opens yourself for liability. The only time I want to be back on that roof is to do a complimentary inspection uh, or an inspection that's been requested by the building owner. Um, all right. So uh, 
guys, let's cover just a couple things that I look for uh, when I first step over the ledge of that roof uh, off that ladder. Uh, of course, tying off that ladder would be a, a safety precaution. Um, you don't want that ladder sliding down the side of the building when the big uh, wind gust comes and you're standing on the roof calling uh, one of your employees or the uh, owner of the building to stand your ladder back up. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, the second thing I'll tell you, I look for um, on a safety aspect, which is real important. Uh, skylights uh, recently got up on a big metal roof, uh, metal roof painted white. They painted the skylights white. So as a safety precaution, I'm pointing out to my contractor, hey, guys, be very careful. Uh, guys, these are skylights. We don't want to fall through these. A number of accidents per year of guys falling through skylights. Uh, we see it uh, on our association and industry newsletters and blogs. So guys, please be careful. Uh, we don't want uh, anybody getting hurt. You know, again, the uh, probably the third thing, you know, I'm going to look for physical uh, issues with the roof, blisters, uh, areas of heavy ponding, what type of coating was used uh, originally. Sometimes it's so weather beaten, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, or the coating has worn off and uh, you see orange showing through. Um, you may have wet foam. Uh, we'd be happy to show you how to use a moisture meter. Uh, they have moisture uh, paper. They have uh, a number of ways in which to check moisture on the roof. Very important to know what your moisture content is. If it's a soaking wet roof, of course, it has to come off. So, you know, what we'll do uh, or what I'll do is, is uh, if my contractor or I did not bring a core uh, saw, which is a round saw, for making holes, there's a manual version and a electric version you can put on your drill. Um, we need to get into that roof somehow. So whether it's a uh, razor knife, uh, <laughs> screwdrivers, uh, chisels, whatever you have to do, make sure that you can find a way to get to the deck. What I really want to know and what uh, most specifiers want to know is what is the deck substrate. Um, that's going to tell us how to proceed in rebuilding this roof. Uh, for longevity and, um, and and warranty and, again, occupant safety and content safety of the building. So if it's wet, guys, my advice, take it off. Some roofs can be dried out. Um, very uh, limited circumstances that we uh, really allow that. Um, moisture is our enemy. Um, so we really just want to get it out of the way. Um, you know, taper, how does the water get off the roof? I've seen a number of roofs get, uh, number of roofs get redone. Uh, just recently, contractors sent me some pictures, had about a square, uh, a 10 foot by 10 foot, 100 square feet of area that held about four inches of water. Uh, he'd already put foam on it. He'd already put silicone on it. And I said, uh, we don't want to make a, a bad problem worse. So my suggestion was get a hold of a concrete company that does uh, concrete coring. Let's go ahead and put a drain in there. Um, and that's what they opted to do. So for $400 and a little bit of PVC, he eliminated the possibility of ponding water. Uh, again, that's a, a live load issue where the weight of that water is a problem. Uh, it's also detrimental to the system, um, holds algae and dirt and tree limbs and leaves and all sorts of stuff that just uh, rot up there and uh, it's just not good for the roof. So, you know, how the roof drains, very important. Um, things like air conditioners, hatches, uh, how all of that gets addressed. So. Everything on the roof is important. Every piece on the roof, take pictures, take video, uh, make sure you have before uh, in the interim uh, a portion of the roof when you are tearing it off, uh, get pictures so you can kind of have some documentation too um, to cover your tail in case there's ever any questions about what was done up there. Um, the old days we did hand drawings. There are digital uh, drone opportunities now. They have uh, eagle eyes that uh, can actually do takeoffs for you on those roofs. So uh, every uh, every detail on that roof, as far as safety, as far as the system, as far as the longevity, uh, expectations, uh, warranty, all of that stuff uh, makes for a successful job. So in closing, guys, let's just talk about uh, uh, Creative Polymer Solutions, AccuFoam, uh, and Rugged Coatings. Uh, we are a supply house. We manufacture, of course, those products. You can find us at AccuFoam.com or RuggedCoatings.com. 
Um, we have a number of solutions for you. Please feel free to reach out to myself uh, if you get on Rugged Coatings. I think there's a silly little box of myself that pops up there with my cell phone number. Uh, please feel free to, to reach out to me directly. Uh, that comes, again, directly to my cell phone. If you need immediate service, uh, if I'm on a roof or, or traveling, please feel free to call the office. Uh, any of the staff there would be happy to help you to the best of their ability. Uh, and absolutely, they will reach out to me and make sure uh, that I know that you called and uh, I will return your call as promptly as possible. Uh, any information that you have about your roof, if somebody's done an inspection or you've done an inspection, uh, any pictures, video, all of that stuff is helpful. And I'd be happy to uh, lead you down the road to success and make sure that you have a good product and a good long lasting roof for years to come. Until next, guy, next time, guys, uh, it's been a, a real pleasure to uh, give you information. Uh, please call me if you need me. Thank you.